Hi, I'm Jonas from Eclipse Source, and in this short video, I would like to show you the new App Tester agent in the Thea IDE that allows you to test browser-based application with the help of AI and MCP. So let's directly dive into the demonstration. I'm now in the Thea IDE. That's an AI native coding environment that is fully open source. You can download and install it for free. Link is in the description below. So let's show the app tester. Um, so the app tester is a new agent and you can talk to the app tester as for any chat agent by just mentioning it here in the chat. Um, however, before I actually do that, let me quickly do introduce the example project that I'm working on and the app that I want to test. So this is a uh, project that I fully generated with the uh, coding agent in this IDE in agent mode in my last video. And let me quickly show you the running application so that you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a simple example. So this is just a calculator app and I can do simple operations here. Um, and shows me the result. So this is the, the app that I want to test in a second. It's currently running. Now, before I test it, let's do something fun um, because I really want to show you that the app tester would find errors. So before I test this app, uh, let me actually introduce an error into the application. And for that, I'm opening the business logic of this calculator uh, in calculator.ts. And let me quickly browse to the place where it does the math. Yeah, that's here. And now I'm using the new inline chat um, to task coder um, introduce an error for the multiplication. 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 All right. In here. All right. Um, now coder will look at the context of my selection and it will hopefully introduce a simple error here. Let's see, suggest some changes. Let's review that and see what it came up with. Yeah, that sounds good. So instead of multiplying it now, divide. So we definitely have an error here that we should be able to spot uh, with our app tester. All right, um, and now before we actually can do that, let's ask Coder uh, rebuild the app and launch it again. So now Coder will inspect the available task in this repository and then uh, run the build. It's happening now. It's pretty fast. And then just start the app again. All right, it's running again on localhost. All right, now I can test the app. And um, what that means is it will not generate any unit tests, but it really will um, test the running app. So we are looking at end-to-end -end tests here. Um, so if you really wanted to test the full business logic of this calculator, I would, of course, generate unit tests. But just for the sake of the example, I want to test the calculator now in the UI. So let's do this. Um, so I talk to the app test and say, um, test my calculator app um, focus on multiplication only. It is running on localhost 3000, just like this. And now we will be able to observe um, that the app tester opens a browser window here. Um, and we will now be able to observe that it controls the, the uh, browser. So it comes up with the first test case, simple multiplication, five by six. Um, and the result is now not what it expects. Um, and it, it, it directly tells me it detected an issue. So it should be 30, but it was 0 0.833. Um, um, and that's definitely wrong. So it does a second test case, uh, multiplication of two double digit numbers. And uh, it, this will very likely also go wrong because we know we changed that. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, and again, it comes up with 1.2, um, but should be uh, 120. Um, and now it does even a third test case. Um, the way that this actually works is we can see that here we're using the Playwright MCP server um, that we installed here in the IDE. If you use the app tester the first time and it's not yet installed, it will actually help you to install that. Um, and with this MCP server, we can actually control the browser, which is pretty neat. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, on the other hand, I don't have to do something, right? I could grab a coffee or even uh, um, 
do something else uh, while the app tester basically checks my application. And of course, um, currently I just prompted to test something. Of course, it would be even more efficient if I would provide more information about the application and what to tell exactly, right? All right, it's done with its task. Um, and now it gives me a test result. Let, let me quickly copy that. Um, and it describes very much in detail what it found, right? And now as a very last thing, uh, just to show you the full power, let me actually fix the test or fix the code again. So I go to coder and say, fix um, this issue. And it just paste the result here, uh, which is very detailed. So it should find the, or should find the uh, error pretty quickly. Um, it would probably even find the error if I just provided the file, but just for the sake of example, this would be a typical workflow that I could follow. So now it retrieves the, um, the file again, found the bug here, and now we can see here, it should fix it. Uh, yeah, wonderful. All right. Yeah, that that's it for the demonstration. Um, let me switch, switch back to full screen again. This was the demonstration of the new app tester feature or app tester agent in the Thea IDE. This was a very simple example. However, um, you can really fully harvest uh, the concept if you adapt something like the app tester to your own environment and, and project. Um, keep in mind in the Thea IDE, you can adapt all prompts to your needs and you can extend prompts with project specific information. And what's very useful for such a testing agent um, is providing some description how to use the app under development because then the agent knows which buttons to press and, and, and what to look for. And if you do that, you can really run full uh, smoke tests, test scenarios, and so on. Um, just by triggering agents, it will do the work for you. It will provide very detailed uh, test results. Uh, you can task it to uh, search for certain bugs or find steps to reproduce, and it runs fully autonomous until it really did the job. We hope you find this video useful. Um, please consider to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel um, to get notified uh, about the next video we publish. And finally, in case you want to build your own coding environment, uh, you want to adapt Thea IDE to your needs, or you want to apply uh, AI in your own domain-specific domain tools, get in contact with us. We provide services around that uh, and want to help you to apply AI in your domain successfully. Thank you for watching.